I lost my virginity to this album. This is why there are only three lanes open. They in the back making albums. Are they touring? I need to get my hands on them tickets. Come to Brazil. Boom, baby. Walmart, Associate Choir, Eyes of a Child. Now this is a album I have been getting a ton of requests to check out for its superb quality and fire, flame, spitting lyrics. Everyone told me this thing is straight heat and uh, one of the holy grails of CD collecting. And I finally have it in my possession. I cannot wait to open this, dive into this. We're gonna look at the track list. We're gonna look at the packaging. I'm pumped, baby. Who doesn't love a good trip to Walmart? I feel like 2002 was only yesterday. You know, getting forced to go to uh, Walmart on Sundays, go shopping with my parents for groceries for the week. Walking around the aisles, bumping to all the shit they got over there, playing my Game Boy Advance SP and Pokemon Sapphire version. Those were the days, baby. But now, after all these years of being a working corporation, Walmart has put out an album, and um, I'm very excited to check out what they got cooking in the back of Walmart, ladies and gentlemen. Eyes of a Child, let's do this. Released on May 14th, 2013, Eyes of a Child presents an exquisitely artistic showcasing of post hyper-consumerism, all on a platter of samba, latin, drums, 90s casual rock, gospel, the genres go on and on. The Walmart Associate Choir took their talents from the register and went in the back to try their hand at recording, producing, mixing, and mastering a soundtrack of their own, a soundtrack they can be proud and represent what it means to be a member of the Walmart way of life. Sounds that render a prime time Walmart superstore in the middle of an open green pasture with nothing but a couple clouds and a vivid blue sunny sky behind it. Almost a godlike being as this store is, is the only thing in this postmodern world providing the means to survive for the people that inhabit this land. A land that looks like the grassy hill from your old Windows XP background. They got them good ass blueberry muffins and I don't know how they make a profit to be honest with you because you could buy like a six pack of the blueberry muffins there and it's like a dollar ten. A dollar ten. You go to Dunkin Donuts and a blueberry muffin is like four dollars. Shit's crazy. And they still have the dedication and time to put this out. It's absolutely incredible, Walmart. The Walmart Associate Choir was formed in 1995 as a very small, informal group of people who loved music and loved Walmart. The choir debuted the same year at the 1995 Walmart Shareholders Meeting with Walmart Pride, a song written by Burl Mason, the magician behind the music and the guest choir director. Today, the Walmart Associate Choir is comprised of approximately 134 associates that work in Walmart stores, neighborhood markets, super centers, Sam's Clubs, and distribution centers from 32 states across the United States of America. Choir members are held to high standards as representatives of Walmart culture. As evidence of Walmart's commitment to children, the Walmart Associate Choir eventually released Eyes of a Child as a benefit CD for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals across the country. Following up their first CD in 1998, associates have come together as one voice to sing nine original songs written by their longtime friend Verl Mason. Verly Mace, baby! 100% of the purchase price of each CD sold went to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, an incredible album for an incredible purpose. All songs on the CD have positive, encouraging, motivational lyrics that fortify the Walmart culture and will appeal to all ages and musical tastes. So as an avid music collector myself, I thought it would be a disservice if I did not pick up such a powerful album. I mean, it has been six years since this behemoth has been dropped, and I gotta tell you, I do feel a bit guilty on the inside that I have not picked it up any sooner. I made my way over to Amazon and found that there were a very scarce amount of quantity for this thing left. I believe there was only two at the time when I went to go see if I can purchase one. Luckily for me, I found a listing for the album claiming it to be in brand new condition, and I was super excited to click that buy now button. It would only be a couple of business days until a factory sealed copy of the eyes of a child was in my possession, a chance for me to experience what so many people are claiming to be pure brilliance. 
The album contains 9 songs and has a runtime of about a little over a half an hour, and like I said earlier, you really have a wide selection of genres and styles on here. Every track is different and really tries to exemplify the diversity of Walmart workers and shoppers all over the world. This thing has a little bit for everybody, and I really love the idea how that kind of goes back to what a Walmart is in the first place, it's a shopping haven for you to get whatever you need, usually 24-7 depending on your specific store nearby. I'm going to dive into every single song on here now, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on each one. But before I do, I wanted to let you know I will be giving away this exact copy of the Walmart Associate Choir Eyes of a Child CD you are seeing in this video. Why not give another person the opportunity to experience the message Walmart is trying to send out to us? If you want a shot at winning this, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, click the bell so you never miss any future uploads, and lastly, leave me a comment below on what is your favorite item to pick up at your local superstore. Uh, is it a carton of eggs? Maybe some Greek yogurt? Or what about some Nestle Toll House cookies, baby? Mmm! Let me know, I could use some creative inspiration for my shopping list this week. And add me on Twitter, so if you are the lucky winner, it'll be really easy for me to DM you when you win. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video for my Twitter as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's dive into The Eyes of a Child by the Walmart Associate Choir. Right off the bat, baby, we are introduced to the Walmart Associate Choir with track one, Moving Down the Road, a song uplifting and motivational. We all need a little help moving down that road sometimes, and, and this track right here will give you that little extra push. A little nice, little, you know, a little shoulder tap. Say, hey, baby, listen, listen to me. You're good. You know, you just gotta keep your head up. I know, I know you just took a double mortgage out on the house. Your wife got up and left with the kids after finding out the reason why your combined savings account as husband and wife is depleting rapidly is due to the overabundance of gambling trips to Atlantic City, New Jersey you and your brother-in-law are taking to escape the monotonous day-to-day -day life you have in your two full bath home. Track number, t uh, track number two, uh, track number two we got Eyes of a Child, a song that matches the album title so you knew this one was gonna be the hit or the banger of the album. But surprisingly, we, we tone it down here and very early on the album, which is a surprise to me, I would have expected this one to come a bit later in the album, a more quiet track maybe towards like track 5, 6, or 7, but now we're, we're starting off right away with the, the emotional ones. Some strings, piano keys, and chimes gradually introduce us to a message of the innocence of a child's vision on the world, a vision that seems to make a lot of sense. It's a very beautiful vision of the world and reminds us there's so much beauty out there, so much simple beauty. We, we all tend to get older and complicate the simplicity of what life is supposed to be about anyway. So look, don't let the clutter of lustful thoughts and sinning get to you, baby. Praise the Lord, baby. Okay, okay, now we cooking, baby, we cooking. Track number three got me feeling horny as hell. Pows and me, Corazon, ooh baby, them Latin drums, them horns, the maracas, a beautiful female vocal lead that makes me want to throw my shoes off and dance the night away at a yearly work party with my 55 year old low key depressed mom co-workers who work next to me in the office, oh baby, this thing is a spicy meet the ball of, of a passionate track, every instrument, let me tell you, let me tell you, Walmart has got some serious talent in their arsenal. And while the, well, yeah, okay, the self-checkout lane most of the time is always broken, uh, it's okay. It's okay, because just, just dance those negative feelings inside of you away, baby. It's simple. The track sounds like you went to a guitar center or a musician's workshop and clicked the demo button on all the keyboards they have in the shop at the same time. Those EDM salsa drum loops, oof, there is nothing like it. The first two tracks on the album are quite tame compared to this track, inspired by intense sweaty ballroom dancing, and already this early on the album we can see the diverse range of sound styles and cultures the album aims to saute up for you. Track number four, we return to another more somber, humble, and quaint tune, very similar to the Eyes of a Child tune earlier on the album, another song with a message of hope, positivity, and keeping your head up. We're greeted with some electronically peppered pianos that set the stage for a couple of different Walmart associates to shine. Almost these little mini soliloquies that all lead to a beautiful gospel-style hook in the chorus. 
Yeah, I might sometimes spend a little way too much uh, at Walmart or more than I plan to and buy the $6 Old Spice body wash because I love the smell of timber. But I gotta remember, what what is money? Money doesn't really matter. Uh, I could, you know, I could have just bought the $1 body wash. But look, when I'm on Eagle's Wings, like the Walmart Associate Choir is telling me, no matter what happens, I'll always stay coarse and I'll always fly, baby. Track number five, we turn to the intensity side again. Turn the heat up a little more and get a Broadway style tune with feeling of joy. An assembly line of electric guitar, horns, classy organs, and a variety of vocal styles that try to include as many of the workers as possible, giving them all a chance to glow in the spotlight. If you get the feeling of love, you'll get the feeling of peace, especially when they got the balls to drop a killer saxophone, piano, dueling, solo. Halfway through the album, those looking for the instrumental talent on this album to see the real production side, what Walmart is playing with, don't skip this track as we really hear the workers go to town. At track six, which is titled Share, we really begin to see the pattern building up for the album as we return to another tranquil, straight to the soul hit, making this album a constant up and down roller coaster of emotions. There is never a moment of boredom when listening to the eyes of a child because you really get your full dose of exciting moments, of quiet moments, of moments that make you feel guilty, you never really donate to charity as much as you should. Track number seven, titled Tell It, is really where the Walmart Associate Choir takes the wheel. You're sitting passenger to the embodiment of Walmart itself as it drives you in its 2002 PT Cruiser into the world of very notable deals on loaves of bread and electric fireplaces. We got this killer male vocal lead that kind of sounds like an episode of South Park. Competing with another female vocal lead who try to tell you don't wait for tomorrow. Whatever you want to do, do it now. Jump, shout, tell them all about it because you need to make the world see, baby. Celebrate the Miracle comes in right after, it's the next track, and it is a great follow-up to the song we just left, as the energy really carries through from one track to the other. You're going full throttle at this point, and the Walmart Associate Choir doesn't give a flying fuck, baby, if you aren't ready, because 0 to 100 is an understatement for the latter parts of this album. That same male vocal lead from Tell It is also back on this track, that son of a bitch never left and he's still here reminding you to celebrate the miracles of life, baby, celebrate! Embrace all you already have, and you'll find the light quite easier than you thought you could. And sadly, my friends, I know, all great albums must come to an end at some point, and for the conclusion of this album, we arrive at track 9, You Are The Reason. This track, this track is, is a track for all of us, really. A, a track that all of us need to hear. A track that reminds you to show love and expression for those around you. People might be going through a lot or a tough time. I think we, we all are in our own way. There's that expression that if everyone in the world wrote their biggest problem on a piece of paper, bunched it up and threw it into a big pile, and then was told to go grab a random scrunched up piece of paper and now that problem is bestowed upon you, you might want your old problem back. Obstacles in life come in all different shapes and sizes, whether it be a paper cut on your finger or the crushing realization that your son or daughter, who once hugged you every night before bed and found joy simply in an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, is now dropping acid at a warehouse rave in Brooklyn, New York. This finale of a track wraps it all up. A reminder to say hi to your neighbor. They might be going through quite a lot and sometimes just creating communication between you and that person can be so incredibly significant so helpful to making them realize there there can be so many other bigger and worse problems out there that makes theirs seem like everything's not really that bad. I mean, that's what we are here for on this planet anyways. I believe the best way for us as a race to achieve happiness is just communication with one another. Put the phone down and just smile or say hi to the person next to you because a return to simplicity, a reboot from the clutter, might be what the doctor really ordered. Also, I don't know when the last time you went to your doctor was for a checkup, but you should really cut down on your sugar intake. Sugar really fucks your body up more than you realize. If I were to really give a quick breakdown of what the album is, it's an album that will make you feel guilty that you don't go to church enough, a moist whispering in your ear that you can be a better person. Eyes of a Child has an incredible message and theme from start to finish, and I hope an album like this lifts you up like it did for me and makes me realize life can be simple. Life can be sin-free, spread the feeling of love, and uh, be a helping hand to every person you meet. 
Now, Amazon, I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed in you guys because this thing was supposed to be brand new. That's what it said on the listing. But, like, the plastic is half off and everything is chipping. Uh, but it's okay, though. It's all right because all that matters, really, at the end of the day is the music. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got cooking on the inside. I'm very excited to check this CD out. All right, so uh, hopefully I don't... I don't cut my fingers on this, but uh, we have it here. Let's take it open. The CD, so the, the top of the CD case is just straight up broken. <laughs> so it doesn't even go on. But uh, nice little simple, oh my God, it's really broken. We got some pictures of the, uh, of the producers, the artists working on this guy. Look at this guy, he's really going in. Cool little pictures right there. We got the CD, a nice little flat, simple design with the Walmart colors. Really like this. It reminds me of those old, like, uh, back in the day, like those Backstreet Boys and NSYNC CDs. This is what they looked like, so. The Walmart boy band, best boy band since One Direction, is uh, cooking on the CD. The CD really encapsulates the whole American corporate vibe. All those experiences you've had going to Walmart, taking the bikes off the racks and riding them around the store and getting yelled at by a couple of the uh, employees over there. All of it just distilled and filtered into this beautiful CD. So taking a look at the CD I have here, the artwork that accompanies the jewel case really hits that Walmart branding we all love. I mean, a nice selection of blues and hints of yellows to replicate the Walmart logo and art guidelines for all of their packaging. The back is nice and simple with a track list and a really, really lengthy read of acknowledgements. Uh, you really see how many people went into creating this incredible project. As I've said earlier, the CD I have here was supposed to be brand new according to Amazon where I purchased it, but the plastic wrap was already half ripped off and the jewel case CD just shattered to the point where I could have quite nicked my finger, Amazon, and gotten a boo-boo. So uh, pretty unfortunate here, Amazon. I'm, I'm not too happy with you. But it is still really cool and inspiring to hold a physical edition of this musical masterpiece. A great addition to my ever-growing music collection. Through the years, the Walmart Associate Choir has performed at meetings such as shareholders, merchandising, year beginning, Saturday morning, holiday, and countless other corporate events. The choir has visited stores of all formats, clubs, and distribution centers to share the culture and positive outlook that makes this company great. The choir regularly reinforces their strong commitment to the community. They have performed at hospitals, senior centers, and children's shelters in Arkansas and Missouri. The choir performed at events ranging from a Kansas City Royals baseball game to local town tree lighting ceremonies. They helped a community heal with song after the tragic tornado ripped through Joplin. Songs of patriotism help the choir extend the Walmart culture beyond the boundaries of their Walmart family to the nation. I now see, people, I see the reason why many consider this to be a holy grail of CD collecting. And I'm so happy to be a part of the Walmart mission and represent what they are all about. Remember, if you want to win this actual copy I reviewed in this video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite item to pick up at a Walmart superstore. Is it whole wheat bread? Is it those fiber one bars? I don't know. Let me know, baby. I want to know. Until next time, I love you sexy son of a bitches. Much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.